guys are multiplying, you usually simplify first, then multiply. And then even if you mul simplify and multiply, then sometimes you have to simplify again, right? When dividing, the best thing I found is to divide first, then simplify. So since these are both square roots, the index is the same, Asia? Since these are the same, you can rewrite this as 56x to the fifth, y to the fifth, divided by 7xy. So let's divide them. 7 divides into 56 how many times? 9. x to the fifth divided by x is x to the fourth. fourth. y to the fifth divided by y is y to the fourth. Now I've divided them into a single expression. You said 7 times 8. 56, 7 divides into 56. Uh, so 7 is 9 times. Now let's go and take the, now let's go and simplify each one of these. Because it's so you have the square root of 9, which is 3. The square root of x squared, what number multiplied by itself gives you x to the fourth? x. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, I'm sorry. Thank you. And you were correct, and I didn't listen to you. Good job. So what's important about this, I don't know why I had 9 in my head. So can we, can we simplify the square root of 8? Yeah, we can break. And you could break that down into 2 times 2 times 2. Or we could break everything down into 4 times 2 times x squared times x squared times y squared times y squared. What is the square root of 4? 2. What's the square root of x squared? x times x times y times y. And you're left with the square root of 2. So your final answer is 2 x squared y squared times the square root of 2. Um, 